This is Dr. Jeffrey Whitman uh, describing the technique for RVO raindrop uh, insertion. And first, I make a nice 150 to 160 micron flap. I'll check this with ultrasound, lay that flap back. It's always made with a femtosecond laser. This one was made with an intralase. I measure the uh, thickness by difference. And then I find it's important to always keep the flap moist even before I lay the uh, RVO down, the uh, raindrop down. So you see me wetting with BSS and I'm using a 25 gauge cannula, I'm wetting the stromal side of the flap. Now, take the insertion device, lay it flat, not angled, flat on the cornea. Lay a synth key, also flat, have somebody watch you if you're not sure you're flat, hold it down against the cornea and pull the insertion device away. Don't pull the synth key. Push down on the, in, on the inlay, pull the insertion device away, and usually it lays down very nicely. Again, you see me wetting the stromal side of the uh, flap again, and I'm going to make sure the inlays, while it's still moist, I'm going to make sure the inlay is well centered. You can push or pull pretty well while it's still moist. and. You want it in the, generally in the center. It's not critical that it's exactly in the center. It's one of the beautifuls to the raindrop uh, inlay. And again, I'm wetting underside, top side of the flap. And I also use that 25 gauge cannula to put a little BSS on the edges of the cut stromal side of the cornea as well. And I feel like if I keep all these moist in this procedure, because it takes longer than a typical LASIK and you're using less fluid generally, this cuts down on getting stria and debris in the flap. So the edges I keep moist with BSS, the stromal side of the flap I keep wet, even the epithelial side I'll squirt under there. All this is very important. And I'm looking for that dimpling down of the flap, that pot orange look like the uh, skin of an orange. And I now know that it's stuck down well, and I'll go under the flap and flip it back in place. And then what I like to do now is go under the flap, lift up over the inlay, and irrigate and sweep out. I really think this leads to a uh, much smoother flap, less stria, clearer flap. You can't irrigate right down on the inlay, or you'll irrigate it and irrigate it out of the uh, bed. And then I sweep with the moist sponge. I look with the uh, slit lamp of the Allegretta laser. And then I'm going to use a Rhine Johnson flap applicator to flatten out. And then pretty much I, I'm done. Beautiful procedure.